up, Leeds? Welcome back to my channel and part two of the fabulous Magical Mermaid Swatch Fest. Although technically it's part three, as I mentioned in the previous video, uh, Thursday night I live swatched the gel polishes on my Facebook channel. On my Facebook channel? <laughs> on my Facebook page, which I will link down below, but my Facebook page link is always there as well. And in the previous video, so part one, I swatched all of the fabulous glitters from this collection. Uh, and I've got all the swatches laying out in front of me. I hope you can see there is a real difference between the glitters and the gel polishes. Let's just move in a bit. Whoop. There we go. We'll just move out slightly so you can still see. There we go. Um, so any of you that are watching this video first, why it's part two. One, two. <laughs> I will just go through. The Magical Mermaid collection is the new gel polish collection from Gems Gel Polish or Gems Nail Systems which is available from the nail team. Uh, the collection is five colours five sparkly sparkly colours and five matching glitters there's also a limited edition matching towel which has a seashell a couple of seashells and a starfish on it um the collection of gels on their own is 35 pounds uh the glitters on their own is something i'm not sure off the top of my head or you can buy it as one for 45 pounds individually the gels retail at £7.50 and the limited edition towel is also available for £7.50. I will pop the link to the nail team and the direct link to this collection in my description box. So check that out. Whew, right, now moving on. I said in the previous video that I would, as well as swatching the glitters on their own, um, where I sprinkled them into a... Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that gold. Oh, sorry. Carried away distracted I'm like a magpie anything sparkly I'm like sparkle sparkle <laughs> right sorry um so in that video I sprinkled them into a wet clear gel it was actually a top coat if anyone wants me to be um specific uh and then I showed how I would encapsulate it to get rid of the um textured surface if you are like me and don't like the textured surface you can leave it textured if you want nothing against it like it on other people just not on me um i showed you how i encapsulated it and and all of that blah, blah, blah. in this video i am going to burnish the glitters over top of their matching gel polishes as they come as a set i thought it'd be nice to show them actually together um so because i did all the waffling in the previous video and in the live if you've watched them all you don't want to hear loads so we're just going to get in with the action so give me a moment while I get set it all set it all up while I get set up bring in something to you know put glitter on and uh, then we'll get going okay as with the first first video the previous video I'm going to talk through one uh, and then I'm just going to do the others sort of sped up a little bit um, I'm going to talk it through for anyone who is new to the nail industry to using glitters to using glitter with gel polish I will talk it through and then I'll just go through the rest so you can see the glitters and the gel polishes together to save a bit of time I've already applied two coats of my gel polishes as you can see now if you're using glitter over top you could use one coat it's personal preference um, I've gone with two so you can see Still see the true depth of polish under the glitter so you can see exactly how it looks um, with the true two coats of polish am I making sense no I'm not making sense I kind of know what I mean um, on clients it's entirely up to you if you're doing a fade so you're not completely covering the nail in the glitter I would definitely do two coats um, you might prefer one coat because it's less it's one less layer less bulk um, but again, personal preference. Now, for burnishing glitters, which is what we're going to do today, you need a tacky layer. Uh, we're not going into wet gel like I did in the sprinkle swatches. We want a tacky layer. Now, Gems gel polishes are amazing and they barely have a tacky layer, which is 
fabulous but not ideal for burnishing glitters so we are going to go in with a coat of base coat on all of these before applying glitter base coat has got a strong um a tacky layer so these glitters will stick to it really nicely So I'm going to use the Betty base, which is the Gems Nail Systems base coat. I am going to do, I'm going to talk through doing Adelia this time because it's my favourite. Uh, so I'm just going to apply a nice coat of base coat all the way over the nail, making sure we don't have any patches uh, where we've not applied it because then the glitter won't stick and I will cry. Simple as. Thank you. Thank you. And um, we're going to cure that in the. Can you shut my door, please? Yes, you are. <laughs> Sorry, it's my dad bringing me a drink. Um, we're now going to cure that in the LED lamp for a 60 second cure. Now, if you wanted to do it straight on top of the gel polish, I uh, on the colour without this layer, I would recommend doing two coats of colour, but flash curing the second coat because that will leave it tacky um, to apply the glitter. But I'm going to do it this way because it just shows you another way of doing it if you don't realise a gel polish has very little tackiness and you've done it. And then you come to apply the glitter with a client and you're like, oh no, it's not sticking, what do I do? This is what you do. You could use a um, top coat which has an inhibition layer um, to, st to stop, into, uh, stop it onto, dob it on, dob it onto, tap it on. Oh, I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, little confession, I'm actually watching the cricket with mute on while I film this. So. Um, yeah if i get a little bit lost it's because i'm watching the cricket and also rory burns is on 49 so gotta keep an eye um so you could use a top coat with a tacky layer i think where we tend to use gel polish over top of acrylic a lot more or um we're using a lot more of strengthening base coats i sometimes think base coats get a little bit um left out a little bit lost in all the changes so i do like to use my base coat every now and then so this is now cured oh, going off on one you'll be glad when i stop talking won't you so will i to be honest this has got a really nice tacky layer we're not going to touch it because we don't want to get we don't want to be touching um yeah anything we don't want to any reactions or anything and also we don't want to get finger marks dirt or remove any of the tackiness but that is now tacky, 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 so we can apply the glitter. So here is the matching glitter. I love this one because it's got a little bit of matte and a little bit of iridescent and a little bit of sparkle, sparkle. And when I'm applying glitters by, with burnishing or dabbing, dobbing, whatever you want to say, I like to use my fluffy brushes. In the previous video, I used a coarse, harsh brush for getting rid of excess glitter dibbly dabbling use a fluffy brush so we're going to go into the glitter i'm going to do it over top of the pot again like i did with the um sprinkling because this just means that you can sort of collect up any of that glitter that falls off trying so you're avoiding wastage now you could just dob it on like that leave it top coat it but if you are burnishing you tend to just want to give it a bit of a swipe over you could really buff it if you want but i'm just going to give it a bit of it if you dob it and don't wipe over you might find you need a bit of a thicker top coat because uh, it can leave it a little bit more uh, textured if you just dob if you dob and swipe whilst it's not completely smooth because obviously it's glitter it's got texture it's smoother so 
Once we're happy with our dobbing and our swiping, I'm then going to go in with another slightly fluffier brush and I'm going to use this just to really get rid of any excess. And there you can see where this is just where. Right, so here is the gel polish without glitter and here it is with glitter and you can see the matte glitter, you can see that iridescent with the gold and you can see how different it is. But you can also see, bring this one in, how different it is compared to the glitter on its own. So we've got three complete looks here with two products. Oh, I don't know which I like best now. I love this one. I love this one. I love this one. I love them all. So now when we've done that, let's move on. We're going to put the lid back on our glitter. Now this is a very important step especially if you're like me, because I am liable to knock into the glitter while I top coat. So I always top, put the lid back on before I do anything else. I'm just going to smooth down the side slightly, just because I don't want rough sides. And then if you feel it's quite textured, you could go in and top coat it with a base coat or and then a top coat. You could or you could just double top coat it. Now, if you're working on a client, I would always recommend double top coating glitter, foil, stamping, um, decals, stickers, anything like that. Um, you wanna do a nice floaty first coat, cure that, and then just another final top coat. You could use a the same top coat, you could use a tacky top coat and then a no wipe top coat on top you could use a base coat and then your no wipe top coat doesn't matter it's preference but I would recommend double layering over a glitter so it doesn't have to be two top coats it could be a base and a top for the purposes of swatching I'm stingy I don't like to use more product than I need to so I'm just going to do one coat and for swatch stitch it's just bleh. But swatch sticks one coat is enough so I'm going to use my Tina top I think this yeah Tina top and I'm just going to float a nice floaty floaty over now I can hear you all going what if all I've got is a no wipe top coat can I double top coat with a no wipe top coat yes you can all you would do is flash cure or half cure so it depends on how quickly it cures flash cure your first la layer so 10 15 20 seconds and that will leave it slightly tacky so you can apply your second coat and it'll stick and then we're going to pop that in the lamp and we're going to cure it for 60 seconds now some people like to have a separate top coat for glitters some people don't I would recommend if you are using the glitter where you have dobbed it in like this, you want to wipe your brush afterwards. Get rid of any little bits of glitter that you might not have got away because you don't want to put this back in your top coat with glitter on. So I might have a little pad or something next to me. You can do that. So I'm going to cure that and we're going to get on and we're going to do the application on all of the others but I'm not going to talk I'm going to be quiet and let you watch so I'm going to start off with Betty base and then we'll go from there
So here they are all top coated and cured and just we'll put them in you can see I'll just bring the camera down I hope you can see how you've got three different looks from this collection you've got the gel on its own the glitter sprinkled on its own and the glitter burnished in and actually you could create a fourth look if you just dabbed the glitter in and top coated and didn't really give it that burnish in but you can really the glitters catch the light you've got the iridescent in you can see the matte finish of the glitters I just I love the collection I really do I just there is so much in this collection you can do and I'm really looking forward to having a play around now and creating some nail looks um, and if you would like me to do a couple of nail looks on my channel um, please let me know in the comments I could do some on tips uh, just on display tips I could do some using my flexi hand um, so please let me know and I'm more than happy to do some designs um, but I love the colors I really do um, and I love this whole collection but I and I hope that has come through from everything I've said in the two videos and the live I just love it Gemma has all the collections all the polishes are amazing and every time Gemma is just bringing out something new something different and something just as amazing um, so this collection gets a big thumbs up from me but to be fair so did all the others um, it's not just a spring collection it's not just a summer collection there is going to be plenty of other things you can do with these colors at different times of year and let's just face it just because people associate pastels with spring and brights with summer and rich reds and oranges and and things with autumn and and you know christmas colors icy colors like winter it doesn't matter it's what you like it's what your clients like on their nails um and honestly you could wear any of these any time of year but i do hope you have enjoyed um these two videos and the facebook live if you've seen it um the links will all be in the description box for the other videos for the products for uh, anything that else I can think of that you need to know um, if I've tempted you with this collection or to try gems please let me know um, they do have some bundle options on the website so you can get uh, the full collection that doesn't yet include this collection so you'd have to get that separately but there are other collections available separately so the Taste the Rainbow, the Spring, uh, there's also a Sweet and Sexy collection, there's the towels and there is also a Gems Lamp which is the next thing on my list to purchase because I haven't got that yet but I will be. There we go. I will pop pictures at the end of this video also on my social media of each colour in the three different ways. Um, if you have enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't already and you uh, like what you see on this channel um, please click that subscribe button let me know if you have any video requests it could be designs it could be swatches reviews uh, general rabbiting on about random rubbish um, for those of you who are really interested in to know Rory Burns has now got his 50 in the cricket <laughs> um, and I am gonna well, I'm going to take some photographs, I'm going to have a coffee and I'm going to have a sit down. But I will see you again really soon and um, take care. Thanks for watching. Bye. Mwah.